Hello, and welcome to the State Star Awards program. My name is Courtney Jasmine, and I'd like to welcome you all to this new virtual program. Today's awards program is sponsored by Grow With Google. I am honored to be your host and delighted to introduce our first guest, Charles T. Rowe. Hi, I'm T. Rowe, President and CEO of America's SBDC, the association that represents the amazing SBDC network. In these challenging times, America's SBDCs are playing a vital role in ensuring the health of small businesses, helping them access capital for growth, navigating the uncertainties of the market, and being there when disasters like the COVID pandemic arise and require intensive assistance. America's SBDC network is composed of 62 networks with nearly a thousand small business development centers nationwide. In 2020, at the height of the pandemic, SBDCs rose to the occasion and assisted almost half a million clients, helping start over 20,000 new businesses, generating 91,000 jobs and $7 billion in sales and revenue growth, and helping them find over $8 billion in capital investments, proving that SBDCs are leaders in job creation and economic growth. SBDCs believe in the power of entrepreneurship and deliver in every community. Awesome, right? Hi, I'm Michelle Abraham, State Director for the South Carolina Small Business Development Centers, and I'm also Chair of the National Board of Directors for the ASBDC. When we talk about SBDCs, we generally refer to them as centers, but as you all know, the networks are made up of much more than that. They're made up of amazing professionals, CPAs, lawyers, engineers, marketers, directors, professors, in other words, ASBDC advisors. Each of these people contribute to the success of their network. Today, we're celebrating the best of the best. Those that have demonstrated exemplary performance who show a strong commitment to the success of their network and small business, and who are, in fact, America's state stars. The 2021 state stars were chosen by each state, territorial and regional SBDC. Each network designed their own unique selection process. Some used a peer review. Some used a, a process where they included their host institutions and other had, others had other approaches to doing it. But in the end, the, the bottom line was all the same and that was to choose stellar performers that others want to emulate. Hi, my name is Tia McLaurin, Community Engagement Manager with Grow With Google. Grow With Google provides free trainings and tools to help all Americans grow their skills, careers, and businesses. Since 2017, more than 6 million Americans have participated in digital skills training, including nearly 20,000 military members and veterans through a network of more than 8,000 partner organizations, including many SBDCs. We are thrilled to sponsor today's SBDC State Star Awards program for the 2020 and 2021 State Stars. I think we can all agree, the past year and a half has been unprecedented for everyone, especially our small businesses. For small businesses navigating CDC, state and federal mandates and guidelines was a labyrinth drenched in anxiety, fear and uncertainty. For thousands, financial assistance programs helped by sorting through the fine print and red tape that was a maddening process. And I know SBDCs were consumed with helping their old and their new clients navigating regulatory compliances and quick deadlines, it was a whirlwind. And even with America's reopening, much work is to be done. This is why Grow With Google is here. We're here to show our support and respect. We're here to highlight the important work that many of you do. Most importantly, we're here to celebrate the 2020 and 2021 SBDC state stars. Again, congratulations. I'd like to take a few minutes to share some of my favorite quotes about this year's state stars, whose SBDC is also a Grow With Google partner. Washington 2021 state star Sarah Trulio 
If one suggestion doesn't work, she'll find another. The best part is she always responds immediately and with a smile. She is my guiding star. Maryland 2021 state star, Mark Malik. Mark never says he can't do something. He is widely respected in the network and has over 37 years of service to small businesses and to the Western Maryland region. He is a consultant to the consultants and is retiring this year. So this is an honor for Maryland. Maine 2021 state star, Allison Lane. Allison's clients praise her for being knowledgeable, positive, and has a supporting demeanor. Her colleagues praise her as a problem solver, team player, and hardworking leader. Since 2019, she has spent more than 1,900 hours helping clients to start 31 businesses, create and save 90 jobs, and generated almost $9.5 million in capital. Louisiana 2021 state star, Sonia Wilson. Ms. Wilson has a passion and a drive to assist small businesses with starting, expanding, and exceeding their endeavors while making a significant impact on communities at large. Mrs. Wilson has a passion for increasing cultural diversity and awareness among businesses while providing educational opportunities to assist with the growth. Wyoming 2021 state star, Nicholas Geraldo. Nick is an exemplary performer because he cares. Nick is dependable and always ready to help a client, coworker, or our network. His research and analysis are spot on for the client situation. His reports are clear, understandable, in-depth, and provide actionable information to assist clients in strategic decisions. It's these type of testimonials that really fuel our desire to partner with America's SBDC to support small businesses side by side. We believe that technology has the power to unlock new opportunities for growth when those opportunities are available to every community across the country. We can be a bit closer to reaching our full potential. Thank you for being on the front lines for small businesses. I can't wait to see what we can do together. Thank you, Tia McLaurin and Grow with Google. We are so lucky to have our state stars joining us now live. So exciting. Let's meet, well, start by meeting each of them. Starting with Ruth Schwartz, business consultant for the Idaho SVDC. Ruth, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, love being here. Thanks a lot. Wonderful to see you. We know navigating the pandemic has been a challenge for all of us. What helped you stay motivated in your job this past year and a half? Well, that's a great question because I started with Idaho SBDC in the third week of March of 2020. So I had been in my office for two hours when they evacuated our campus. And I was walking out the door with my regional director and he turned to me and said, uh, I have a job for you. And I asked him what it was. And he said, I want you to become the subject matter expert on all things COVID-19. And my response was, well, what does that mean? And he <laughs> said, I have no idea. So I went home, I rolled up my sleeves and said, I guess I have to become the best possible resource that I can. And at the end of the year, they gave me a state star. <laughs> um, but we all know that it takes a team to make this happen. And um, I absolutely recognize exactly what happened to keep all of us motivated um, during that year. One, of course, I was integrating with my regional team. That was awesome. But I was invited to be a part of an Idaho state team that put together no less than 50 statewide webinars on COVID-19 programs for clients and stakeholders, and also another 50 statewide internal staff stand up so that we could share information. And um, I think we're all really proud of what we did. And uh, in terms of being motivated, it was it was a fire hose and um, I wouldn't have missed a minute of it. And I think this team should be really proud of the star. Thank you so much, Ruth. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to now introduce Dr. Jacqueline Mejias Fuentes, the Regional Director of the New Jersey Small Business Development Center at Brookdale Community College. Now, Jacqueline, this is a wrong question. 
but certainly one that will bring an insightful answer. Who do you follow or what do you read to stay inspired in your work? First, I want to say thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak at the 2021 America's Small Business Center State Star Award Ceremony. I am incredibly grateful to be receiving the 2021 New Jersey Small Business Development Center State Star Award. I'm deeply honored and humbled to have my work recognized by my peers and my colleagues at the New Jersey Small Business Development Center Network. Although I wear many hats, one that brings me the great greatest joy, I have to say, is being the Regional Director of the Small Business Development Center at Brookdale Community College. It is said that when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. I have the best fortune to work for two incredible organizations that share my passion for entrepreneurship and the small business development. Thank you to the New Jersey Small Business Development Center Network and to our host institution, Brookdale Community College, for always providing support, helping us to do our job, because without them, it would be incredibly difficult. And to my local NJSBDC team, I can't stress enough that without you, this would not be possible. And thank you for going full steam ahead during one of the most trying times of our history. So you ask, what do I do to stay inspired or who do I follow? I read, I love to read. And during the pandemic, that wasn't always easy, but thanks to Audible, I was able to listen as I was walking. So while I was trying to distress the body, I was working on the brain. So the works that I read step across the board as long as they have to do with the leadership and management. So from Peter Drucker, the founder of Modern Management to Brene Brown, who continually works on helping you be courageous so you can help others be courageous. So for me, I continuously read on these works, on the new works of different writers and authors that are out there that help me inspire my team as well as the business owners, because we know during this difficult time, many individuals needed that inspiring moment and that hand holding. So our work is far from over, but what we've accomplished together has made a difference in thousands of people's lives. Let us continue this journey with more dedication than ever. Just imagine what you can accomplish in a year to come. So I say seize the day to impact the future. Wonderful, Wonderful answer. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Jacqueline. We now bring in Lori Williams, a business consultant at the California SBDC, hosted by the Pasadena City College. Lori, tell us about something specific you did to help one of your most memorable clients overcome. Thank you for that question, Courtney. Given my expertise in finance, tax, and legal structures, I worked co with companies to apply for the various government programs. As many of you know, small businesses do not understand their legal status and possibly never review their tax returns. This knowledge was needed to complete the applications and address the issues when denied. So many of our customers, they were confused, they were frustrated, they felt desperate. My goal was always the same, bring them to a realistic understanding of their financial situation, especially their cash flow, then determine the best steps going forward. In this, I saw myself as an educator, a sounding board, and you know, many times simply a friend with advice. I received many emails from clients thanking me. I'd like to share this one. I think it says it all. You helped me deal with the anxiety and success of obtaining two PPPs, the RRF and the California Lendistry Grant in a rational step-by-step -step manner. You were always available to answer my questions with the proper knowledge, logic, and patience. You helped me make good business decisions as together we righted my faltering ship. I don't know how I could have gotten through the last year and a half without you. My greatest award was the ability to help my clients through these very challenging times. I want to thank my friends and colleagues at the SBD centers in Los Angeles, Long Beach, and Pasadena. They assisted in my efforts and they provided me encouragement. I also want to thank those who nominated me for this prestigious award. Thank you. 
Lori, that was a wonderful story. And thank you for sharing that. I'm certain that emails and letters like that makes all the long hours worth it, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely. My heart was touched. I think it was so challenging for all of us to go through this. But you know, if you have something very important that you're focused on, you can make it through yourself. So let me just say that my ability to help others in need took some of the pain that I personally was going through off my shoulders because I could just focus on what I needed to do. And that's all I did. I put my head down, I kept working, and I just tried to do everything I could. And in that, I just really thank that I was in a situation that my pain was lessened by being able to help them. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Lori. Wonderful to meet you. Another great story. Now we're going to introduce Miss Andrea Rogers Mosley. She's the director of the SBDC at Alabama State University. Andrea, tell us about a moment in the past year and a half that you shared with one of your clients that helped you keep going. Hey, thank you all so much for this um, invitation to share. And great question. Um, you know, as builders and, and innovators, you know, small business owners and entrepreneurs, they wear so many hats. And their success and their failures depends on their ability to maintain their confidence and then their vision and do many things well all at once. So as a small business advisors, we, we understand that it's extremely important for small businesses owners to have effective resources to help them in their journey. So during this challenging time, it was important for me to let my clients know that we're all in this together because everything in our life has been impacted by the effects of COVID-19. It was very important to let them know simply that we care and that we're willing and will do all that we can in our ability to help them survive, help them thrive and help them recover. So it really is the promise that I made and the promise that I committed to, I, the, I promised that if they continue to work, that I will continue to work even harder by providing them with resources and technical assistance. And that promise is what kept me going. And along with that, it was so many others that, you know, we have a very supportive network. Our team with the Alabama SBDC work, our dynamic associate director, Michael Brooks, uh, my team at Alabama State University, Alan Cadero, Misty, and, and our dean, Dr. Kamal Higarani, all of us, um, you know, we worked extremely hard during this period to make sure that we created the programs. For my center, it was to make sure that we created a program using smartly the CARES Act funding that could support the small businesses with um, a program that could help them to survive and recover through this um, COVID period that we're going through now. So it was the promise that was made and a promise kept. Beautiful you, promise Rosalind. made and a promise kept. And I'm, you have a lot of pride uh, in, in what you do. Um, what gives you the most pride now having sort of worked through that challenging tough year? Just to see the number of businesses that push through and that they're surviving. And in Alabama, we are um, hearing stories of it's not a lot of closures that's here that our business are surviving. Beautiful, Andrea. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. You. For more valuable advice, now we turn to Sally M. Williams, consultant at the University of Missouri, Kansas. Sally, could you tell us a way you pivoted and how you advise your clients this past year and a half? Sure, Courtney. Um, I primarily counsel technology-based startups. And since March of 2020, most of my clients either found their value proposition, propositions enhanced due to the pandemic or their venture came to a dead halt. It was chaos. They all wanted to take action immediately. Uh, but what I changed was that I found myself counseling that instead of action, they should deliberately pause to assess and anticipate the future and then be really purposeful about the action they took. Um, you know, decisions made in an emotional time pressured crisis are usually not our best, even if we do it to capitalize on a, an immediate opportunity. It's counterintuitive, but pausing during a time of crisis is often the best action. And I'd also like to say that being an SBDC counselor is the most enjoyable and rewarding job I've had in my 40 year business career. 
Um, for me, it's the perfect blend of mental challenge, creativity, and emotional reward. And I want to thank my colleagues at the Missouri SBDC and especially at our center in Kansas City. Thank you so much, Sally. I think that's something we can uh, all take back for sure. Let's now catch up with Sonia Wilson, business consultant from the Louisiana SBDC at Southern University and A&M College. Sonia, share with us what it means to you to be your network's state star. Uh, well, good afternoon, and uh, I appreciate being here. I appreciate the opportunity, and I am uh, just elated to, to be nominated and, and to be uh, for my name to even be submitted to receive the State Star Award. It is indeed an honor. Uh, basically, uh, just I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for leadership. Uh, under the, the leadership of Dr. Michael Stubblefield, uh, Vice Chancellor at Southern University and AM College, uh, Ada Womack Bell, the LSBDC. Center Director for the State of Louisiana, Carla Holland, uh, LSBDC State Director of Louisiana, uh, SBA, uh, LED, Louisiana Economic Development, uh, a host of other resources. Um, by them being accessible and providing the resources uh, just allowed me to provide those services to clients. Uh, it has been very rewarding since the pandemic uh, has been the most challenging uh, time that I've experienced throughout my career, let alone at uh, ASBDC. But it has been really um, enriching to know that uh, I was able to help businesses sustain uh, their their measures and be and the the option just to to be able to stay open. Um, this was a very challenging and difficult time, as it continues to be for a lot of business owners. So um, it has definitely been a rewarding experience. Um, just allowing uh, our communities to continue to develop and grow and enhance their measures. It's just truly been rewarding. Very nice. And congratulations uh, again to you, Sonia, and all of our state stars. Now we want to introduce Craig Rusum. He's a lead finance center consultant from the Orange County Inland Empire, California, SBDC. Craig, what makes an exemplary SBDC advisor? Courtney, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here with so many outstanding SBDC consultants. You know, to me, to be an exemplary SBDC consultant, first and foremost, means that you are a really good patient listener. You know, even if you've heard the story a hundred times, you have to remember that their situation, you know, their business, it's unique to them. And they came to the SBDC, they came to you specifically for help. Uh, it's important to understand that it is the client's journey and we are just here to help guide the way. Uh, we do our best to teach uh, what we know from being business owners ourselves, you know, to inspire, to surround them with those that can support their mission. And of course, empower them with the tools and skill sets so they can better understand their business uh, from a variety of key areas. Uh, I'd also say an exemplary SBDC consultant is able to lean on their network peers you know, they're all amazing. They have unique talents and skill sets. There's a reason why they're SBDC consultants themselves. Um, so we need to recognize our own shortcomings as consultants and utilize the power of the SBDC network to its fullest extent, you know, to support our local business owners. And I'd say finally, an exemplary SBDC consultant is always asking that question, how can the SBDC be of service? Hmm. Wonderful. Um, a patient, a really good patient listener. Those are, that's wonderful um, and really does uh, show what an exemplary SBDC advisor really is. So thank you so much, Craig. And congratulations to you. We now want to introduce you to Deb McGregor, marketing consultant at the Minnesota SBDC. Deb, what is the most meaningful thing to you about working for and representing the SBDCs? Hi, Courtney. Thank you so much for having me here today. There are so many things that are meaningful. And first of all, what I wanna say is, it is an honor and privilege to be an SBDC consultant. When we work with clients, we are working with someone who has a dream, something that they want to bring to fruition. And when we walk alongside them, to me, that has so much meaning and there's so much depth to it. And during the pandemic, this was even bigger in depth. I can tell you that there are times I cried with clients, 
There are times that we had hoorays and shouts of joy that we kept something going, or maybe we pivoted. That had so much meaning for me. The vulnerability that we saw in our clients and the fact that they trusted us enough to work with them, walk with them, and help them see the job through means so much. The, the last 18 months of my life will forever go down in history as probably some of the most meaningful moments. And the resiliency that we saw in the entrepreneurs was absolutely phenomenal. And so for me, that has so much meaning. In addition to the fact that so many SBDC consultants came together to help one another, to look at where we had solid skill sets that we could work together in service of the clients, not just in our own SBDC regions, but across the nation. We saw people sharing webinars like never before. We saw people sharing ideas, using the creativity. And to me, this had so much meaning and so much impact. And I just want to say thank you again for all of those individuals who nominated and who have all been a part of the success. This has been a massive team effort to get through this last time period. And I am so grateful. Deb, you have so much passion. I can't let you go without maybe doing <laughs> one of those meaningful stories of success. Because I know I'm sure you have something at the top of your head that really sticks out in the last year and a half. I definitely have. Uh, there is one particular situation with the business and trying to hold the confidentiality, confidentiality here, but this business uh, going into COVID was starting to see some great growth, but all of a sudden COVID hit and the particular things that they had to deal with uh, included some deaths in the family and also a pregnancy. And all of a sudden, all of these things, and of course we're joyous about the pregnancy, but all of the timing of this came at a very interesting moment. And I walked in one day and uh, the client was in tears and I said, I'm coming back in a week and actually it was three days uh, and we're going to get down to business. And I walked back in, brought in this individual's favorite choice of coffee and said, we're going to make a plan of action and we're going to do it right now. I am happy to say that not only did this business survive, this business is seeing record sales right now. And every time I see that individual now, literally, I get a big, it's a big hug, it's a big thank you, it's a big, seriously, we could not have done this without the SBDC and all of the support that we received. So it's it's, mo it's moments like that, Courtney, that I mean, I can go to sleep and I can get a good sleep at night knowing that I made a difference today. And we all, as SBDC consultants, we are all making a difference each and every day when we are going out to work with all of those amazing clients. I mean, we get the best jobs in the world. We're working with people's dreams. How does it get any better than that? Beautiful, beautiful, Deb. Thank you so much for sharing that story. A really very inspiring story, that is. So let's bring in Matthew J. Puglis, Associate State Director at the Connecticut SBDC. Looking ahead, how do you plan to support your clients in this ever-changing world? Right. Well, looking forward into this next year to best support our clients, we're going to take our own advice. We're going to keep questioning and examining what we're doing and why, and we're going to make decisions based on data and input maybe a little bit of instinct. And we're gonna make changes and adapt as an organization so that we can be efficient and empathetic and impactful in supporting our clients. And I'm really honored to be recognized by my colleagues at the Connecticut Small Business Development Center as the state star. It's been a challenging year for everyone on our team as they juggle this increased workload, the constant change in their work priorities and their personal family lives. And as the Associate State Director, I tried to create a process to build our team and support all of our business advisors so that they could do their best work because they really are the stars of the Connecticut SBDC. And I'd like to thank our State Director, Joe Colano, for trusting me to take the lead. And I'm just thankful to have an opportunity to help in this time, all of our state's small businesses and for the recognition of this work. Now, just a few more words from one last special guest and then a last review of all of you. Congratulations. What's up, everybody? Damon John here. Do you remember me? Well, listen, I wanted to congratulate you, America's SBDC State Stars. I want to acknowledge how hard you work to earn this honor and how much you do for your community. You're appreciated, you're amazing, and as a small business owner, I know the value of trustworthy partners and you are certainly an important resource. You are the best of the best, and thank you for all you do. You are truly what we call real sharks. You are investing in the future. 
and congratulations. Peace.